Tonka Construction is a game developed by Vortex Media Arts, a company who is known for developing Tonka Construction, and apparently not much else. It came out in 1996, and it was awesome. I remember playing it during the dark ages of having a family computer in my parents' bedroom. Tonka. The only way to pull off a painfully long title sequence like this one is if you have some catchy music to go behind it. Luckily, Tonka Construction has us covered. Tonka. That is just incredibly catchy. The game is primarily hosted by Joe, who is really muscular from about here up, and is doing a great job at proving that ascots are really hard to pull off. Joe, you are clearly no Fred Jones. There are five places to do our exciting Tonka-ing. The garage, the quarry, the desert, the mountains, and the city. The garage is all about assembling our trucks. It's really nothing exciting, just dropping pieces into place and then bolting them down. Accuracy isn't really important in this game, which is good for two reasons. One, because the game can be really hard to control at times. And two, because it's for five-year-olds who don't have the patience to be accurate, even when doing construction, a field where accuracy is probably pretty important. You can also paint the trucks, which is awesome, although there's really no way to make it look good unless you just leave it yellow. These are some pretty bad color choices as far as construction machinery goes. At the end of the day, though, coloring is pretty pointless because the paint gets washed washed off when you're done painting. Like, what's the point? Have fun and use all the colors you want. Yeah, okay, Miss Bait and Switch. We do get to test drive the trucks, though, so that's pretty exciting. Tonka time! That truck is running fine! Anyway... The quarry's made for digging and having fun. Some say there's gold in those hills. Yeah, so the animations in this game are pretty freaky at times. I think it's just the speed that they move at that really gets me. It just looks strange. I should mention that it wasn't exactly easy to get this game running. As with most older games, I couldn't just pop in the CD and play. It took a good amount of tinkering just to get the thing to work. Now I say this because I think it's the reason I'm having so much trouble controlling my trucks. See, if I'm moving around in on-screen space, everything is cool. But if I'm trying to go off-screen, the game scrolls so slowly it's infuriating. And you're not using arrow keys or anything, you're using the mouse. So, uh, it takes a while. But other footage of the game that I looked up didn't have that issue. It's probably not the game's fault, it's probably just a product of installing an old game on a new PC, but that doesn't stop it from being annoying. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, the scrolling speed is probably more realistic than the free moving speed. To my knowledge, this is not how trucks moved in 1996. Or ever. The quarry is all about grinding up rocks. Get some rocks, crush them up, and then get some more rocks. I kind of can't believe I found this entertaining when I was younger. I mean, really, Ian? Rocks? Dooley, they found the mother load. Better get those rocks to the crusher. Yahoo! Okay, that was weird. So when you know you got gold, yeah, go ahead and bring it over to the crusher. But what's the point of bringing regular rocks there? Well, a lot of the time in this game, there really is no point, so I might as well just drop it on the ground. Not only does this game not require any accuracy, but it also doesn't require you to really work that hard. This is a theme that carries throughout the game. So we're only barely doing construction. Really, we're just kind of driving around, and if there's some construction that happens to go on in the process, well, hey, Hey, that's just a bonus. This level is horrible. I mean, it would probably be a lot better if I didn't have this scrolling issue, but really all you do is drive over the same road six times, which for me translated to a lot of this. But the little construction workers that help you out from time to time, adorable. I mean, I could watch these guys do construction for at least a minute or two. It's that fascinating. Not two seconds after finishing my awesome highway, it becomes the most popular highway in town, except everyone is driving on the wrong side of the road, but you know, who am I to judge? I also get this great certificate, which I can even print out. Are you kidding me? That means you could totally print this out, frame it, hang it on the wall, and then, you know, cry about your life or something. I don't know what you do in your free time. You get certificates for each job you finish, like this one I got for saving people trapped in an avalanche. 
Look at that snow job! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this game is kind of sexual at times. For instance, if you wait at the main screen long enough, Joe looks at a pinup in a trucker magazine. And then there's Rusty, who... Yeah. But you know, aside from some innuendo, Tonka Construction is pretty kid-friendly. Time to get dirty, little truckster! That's pretty much it. I mean, what you see is what you get. There are seven activities to do, three of which are projects within the city. One of them is to build a castle, which is pretty awesome. Once you finish all of your assignments, you become the true master builder and are awarded with a trophy, which I clearly didn't earn because I'm lazy. Well, I'm lazy and also I just can't put up with this scrolling thing any longer. Everything takes way longer than it should. But hey, at least we still have that catchy music. Tonka. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more footage of this game, check out Mr. 831's playthrough of it. He was nice enough to let me use some of his footage, and he managed to get the game working correctly so it's a bit easier to look at. Otherwise, you can check out some of my videos or, you know, go do something else. Follow your heart. <laughs>